Now we want to calculate our net present value and internal rate of return for these capital budgeting projects. In this example, we're going to be using the TI-83. Remember, if you have a TI-83 or TI-84, the procedure is the same. So we want to calculate the net present value and internal rate of return. We're going to start with the internal rate of return on this calculation. Remember for the TI-83 and TI-84, the internal rate of return starts with the CF0. Then goes with your cash flow sequence. And then the cash flow frequency. and then resolve. So when we calculate the internal rate of return for project A, our CF0 is negative 200,000. Our cash flow sequence, 120,000, 90,000, 50,000, 40,000, 30,000. And then the frequency, none of these cash flows happens for more than one time period, so our frequency are just ones. And since there are five cash flows, we have a sequence of five ones, and then we can solve. So let's plug that into our cash flow worksheet using our calculator. Turn the calculator on. Remember the first thing we do is go to apps to get our finance apps. Scroll down to the internal rate of return and now plug in our values. So we start with that negative 200,000. Make sure that is negative. So use that negative key on your calculator. 200,000. Once we have that in then we want to go to our cash flow sequence. So 200,000, then comma, and want the little squiggle bracket. 120,000, 90,000, 50,000. 40,000 and lastly 30,000. Close our bracket. Remember that's a shift so make sure you press that yellow shift before you hit the bracket. Another squiggle bracket. Now put in our frequencies. There are just five cash flows, each with a sequence of one. So we have five ones for our frequency. Close that out. And now solve. We solve or get an internal rate of return of 26.72%. Now we can do the internal rate of return for project B. 400,000 negative is our CF0. 40,000, 60,000, 120,000, 240,000, 340,000 are our cash flows. Our sequences are ones. Solve. So go down 
and internal rate of return. Just set these up. 400,000. Remember that 400,000 has to be negative. I started entering that without a negative, so I want to go back, make it negative. 400,000. Squiggly bracket. 40,000. 60,000. 120,000. 240,000. And the last cash flow in the sequence, 340,000. Now my sequences are entered. Go ahead and put in the frequencies. Five cash flows, each with a frequency of one. And now I can solve. I get an internal rate of return of 19.74%.